readers have been reacting to a row on social media drawing upon perceived double standards between the way football and rugby fans are treated in Scotland. A tweet was posted by at Hibby's family following Saturday's Scotland v Ireland rugby game at Murrayfield, which read, Rugby fans p asterisk 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 asterisk. Nothing to see it's just a laugh says the busies, police, these folk are privileged now move on, read more, Irvine Welsh blasts establishment, treatment of privileged rugby fans The tweet was picked up quickly by author Irvine Welsh who agreed, adding, if football fans behaved like that they would be arrested, jailed and put on the sex offenders list. Time the establishment stopped being chin stroking sociologists for the privileged and viscous social controllers for the working classes. It would appear many evening newsreaders agree with the opinions raised. Yup. Spot on. They were throwing a rugby ball about on my train a couple of years ago in its jovial banter, one reader posted. Another said, I don't understand how rugby supporters can get into a pub wearing team colors but football fans can't. The rugby mob can chant all the hatred songs in a pub but football fans can't, i.e. their national anthems are spewing with hatred one way or another, another posted, spot on. The arrogance of these rugby fans is scary above law, read more, in pictures, Scotland fans enjoy Six Nations Day out at Murrayfield but many readers have heavily opposed such views, I'm pretty sure the police know who causes more trouble before and after a match. Football fans can't even be trusted to sit together, one wrote, when football fans stop behaving like animals then maybe they will be able to have a drink and sit next to the opposition fans in the stadium, dot nah that will never happen, said another. Maybe what we've learned here is, regardless of social status humans as a general rule do not behave well under the influence of alcohol. However in a policing sense there's no comparison between the sports. From the sectarian hatred of the old firm to the violence of football casuals, in addition to racism. I love both sports but I wouldn't take my daughters to the football, one reader posted. Join our Facebook group our Edinburgh to share images and news from and around the capital.